just explaining only in the context of South Korean market. Well, actually, the, the major Korean telcos, you know, SK Telecom and Korea Telecom and LG Plus, well, they haven't actually invested much in the uh, network infrastructure. So in 2019, well, these three major big telcos in Korea announced that they launched uh, you know, five, uh, 5G services for the first time in the world. And the number of subscribers for 5G services is uh, nearly you know, 24 million, which is almost half of the total, mil, uh, total population in South Korea. So the total sum of these you know, three major companies' you know, operational profits surpassed the 10 billion US dollars in the previous quarter of this year. However, actually their spending on the network infrastructure has decreased compared to the same quarter of the last year. So one of the main reasons is that well, the, those telcos have been you know, threatened and you know, facing challenges in, in expanding their business, right? So the market is saturated and that there is no more room to grow. So therefore, you know, they have tried new businesses and you know, launched additional services, which is normally packed together with their subscription, uh, subscription services. So uh, they you know, try to make you know, uh, more profit from their different area, which are mostly, unfortunately, well, not very successful so far. So they spend more money on these areas rather than improving the quality of their core products, which is basically not. So this is why many people are kind of suspicious that, you know, that you know that the, um, you know the, those telcos will uh, invest more on you know, in, uh, network infrastructure. 